Yes. Oh, good. Yes. We have you. Okay. Thank you for joining again. So let me see how I'm going to fit into the frame here. Okay, I do fit. Excellent. So I'm going to walk you through a standing warm up. You can do it or you can watch. It doesn't really matter. This comes from a couple different things, uh, not just Pilates, not just yoga. And so, Katie, oh, yeah. Katie, I'm so sorry to interrupt you. Uh, do you have my picture or is it frozen? No, you're good. I'm good. You're not frozen. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, uh, because some of the audience are writing that the quality is not good. Uh, that's why I asked you. Uh, you, are, you are good on my end. You're good. Good, okay. Uh, let me just do the exercise with you. I like to experience that. Let sure. me just do it. Okay. So the first thing we're going to do, and I can step forward a little bit, you are going to do long brushing movements, top and bottom of your arm. So it's just like petting a cat. You're brushing all along the surface uh -huh. of your Okay, arm. let me just uh, accessories. I know, watches, whatever you got. And for okay. those of you who are watching, the reason is that your body does best with sensory input first before motor. In your brain, there's a little uh, sensory cortex that is before the motor, switch to the other arm. So your body does really well with awakening sensory and peripheral nervous system information. So we're just okay, trying uh, to wake you up. Just yeah. translate your words because the Persian audience would understand your exercises completely. Sure, uh, go for it. Instead of the massage, we have حسی توی ذهن داریم که با ماساژ دادن باعث میشه که ذهن به اون قسمتی که میخوایم روش کار کنیم طبعت در واقع روش تمرکز کنه و بهش فکر کنه اوکی باتلز we're gonna uh, rub our hands together and back of the hands اوکی دست رو بگیم میمالیم در واقع همون حسی مثل زمستون که دستتون تکم میده گرم میشه داره از همون سیستم استفاده میکنه که انرژی میکنه انرژی گرمایی تحقیل کنه و then you'll bring one hand to the back of the neck, gently draw downwards, and then the other hand. So you're just trying to give a little bit of neck massage from the uh -huh. back. Yeah, for the garden massage. Yeah, I'm just showing so you fit in the camera there. Yes. Thank you for demonstrating. It's a crystal. <laughs> Thank you. And then we'll do that yeah. to the front. So one arm comes around, and then the other arm comes around. So we're trying to bring some more awareness to the neck. Super important for a bunch of different musicians and just people of all persuasions. Okay, I want to show you a little bit more about the neck. I want to show you a little bit more about the neck. جریان خون یه مقدار بیشتر بشه و هم جلو گردن. الان اومده روی جلو گردن. اوکی کیلی، the color is killing me. I I shouldn't have. Okay. And you're going to make a make a fist. So both okay. hands together and you're going to bump your thumbs, your knuckles around your collarbone. So I'm just hitting my chest with my fist. I'm trying to bring some awareness to my breathing and to this whole area. Yep. So just gently, exactly. And it can be up to your shoulders, anywhere that needs a little bit of attention. Okay, let me just translate it. The injury is the same way, but it's not a good thing. 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 And then let that go. Just shake out your wrists a little bit. So shake and shake them. And then just relax your arm. You'll shrug your shoulders up. You'll draw them back and together. So if I show you with the shirt, it's bringing the shoulders up, back, 
and together. From the side, it's up, back, together. Big shoulder circles. That's all that's happening. یه مح... یه سه مرحله داریم شونا رو بالا میاره عقب میبره ول میکنه دوباره میاد شونا رو بالا میبره عقب میبره ول میکنه دوباره میاد شونا رو بالا میبره ول میکنه روی بخش شونا مثل تمرینات میوز و سرکیو کتف و کار میکنه اینجا داره روی شونا کار میکنه اوکی یه دسته اونو میچرخونیم دایره تشکیل میده کامر بعد اینو حواست باشه تحت فشار انجام ندید پیش رو انجام بدی در به عقب میره و در واقع مفصد شانه رو داره گرم میکنه and then other direction so freestyle there we go بدون فشار and then other arm میریم روی دسته دیگه عقب گرد and other way اوکی به سمت جلو تمرین رو انجام میدین okay now both arms are going to swing forwards and backwards make sure you have a little space behind you so you're not going to hit anything as your arms swing اوکی دست رو مثل تاپ اگر من درست ببینم yep, so I'm just swinging both arms. آها آها همون اتفاقه دست ها توی خلاف جهت دارن حرکت میکنم فقط حواستون باشه این کاملا آزاد و رها باشه کاری که داره انجام میده یه مقدار داره تحت کنترل تر از من انجام میده هم بالا تر داره میبره and then at some point The arms uh-huh. move overhead and they keep circling. So one arm is in backstroke, the other is in freestyle. So if I show you from the side. Ah. That's... <laughs> It's hard. It's hard. It's hard. <laughs> you know, uh, I think I'm getting it. Let me I just... think you're getting it. I don't want you to hurt. So swing the arms. Okay. And then at some point, the swinging makes a big circle like a propeller or an airplane. Yep. So you start here, and then it just keeps going. Aha, aha. That's a difficult one. It is a difficult one. There's a reason for that. There is a reason. So first, um, Doing different things on different halves of the body requires different brain stuff. So you play guitar, one hand is doing yes. this, the other hand is doing that. We're trying to yes. train some independence. But it's also really hard just to do something new. So I'm going to have you do it a different way. Left arm, just do backstroke. So reach up and back. Good. I'll actually do the same arm with you. There we go. Now... I want you to imagine the other arm going the other way. So we talked about mental practice. Without moving the other arm, can you think of what that's like in your body? Can you imagine that? And then maybe you can put those two together when you're ready. Better. <laughs> Excellent. Uh, <laughs> I see so funny. <laughs> it's, it's very good. It's good for your shoulder joints too. Uh-huh. Got that. And then just let your arms relax because that can be tiring. And just some tam- gentle twisting. Uh-huh. Yeah, tamrin khayli shabiye be tamrin dawar. Okay, uh When uh, I was attending some Alexander technique classes, they used uh-huh. to do this exercise as well. And we do I it in Muse Master as well. It's a really good exercise. I love it. It's great. It's great. Yes, it's great. And then we're going to do a little side bend. So let your left arm relax. Reach your right arm by your ear. And then you'll side bend this way. 
آها خب یه دستتون اینجا من یه خورده اینو بعدم اینجوری تک منو می یه دستو کنار بعدم میذاره این دستو کامل میاره کششی دیگه کششی برای کشش تو این قسمت هستش اوکی okay. اندمو دیگه من بیان توی دست میپاشم Similar to yoga or other movements, I'm going to have you bend your knees, and then we'll do a little cat rounding the spine, and then a lengthening and extension or a cat. So with your knees bent, you're just trying to move your spine in case you don't have a chair. So if you have a chair, you can do it seated on the chair where you round back and forward. If you're standing, you can do it with your knees bent. Without the chair. Okay, so try the seated one. Sure. So if we're doing the seated one, you're sitting upright, your hands will be on your legs, and then the pelvis will tuck, your low back rounds, and then the pelvis will spill forward, you'll lift the chest and look up. Okay. Rue Sandadi, Michini. بعد تمام لبه صندلی بشه اگه صندلیتون پشت داشته باشه اگه مثلا صندلی کلی پشت نداشته باشه خب میتونید هر جا شوز داریم بشین ببین از ما میگیم قسمت در واقع دو کت یعنی پشتتون اگه سه تا ناحیه در نظر بگیر یه ناحیه میشه فیلای کمر قسمت پایینی کمر یه ناحیه میشه ناحیه دو یه دو پشت کتفاتون میشه ناحیه سه من اشتباه گفتم میشه ناحیه سه کمر خب بعد از اون ناحیه سه انجام بدین یعنی دقیقا میشه پشت قسمت پایین سینتون پشتش میاد بیرون انگار همان and down we're creating external rotation and internal rotation from the shoulder oh uh, you are yeah. work, uh, uh, actually supination and pronation yes uh well we want it from the shoulder actually so we don't want so if we were doing supination and pronation it would just be this which is good uh-huh. oh, doing it from it from the the yeah we want it from the shoulder oh okay okay uh, but it would be سوپینیشن پرونیشن نمی خواهد چون سوپینیشن پرونیشن مواد قسمت ساید میشه. در واقع من فکرم داره از ساید دستو می چرخه ولی داره از شونه کامل حرکت میده. داره بازم روی مقصد شونه کار میکنه برگم کردن Great And then relax your arms We'll do a couple things and I'll come closer so you can see Okay So we're going to do something for the eyes So place your pointer finger in front of your face and then keep your head stable. You're going to move the finger around and let your eyes follow the finger. So your job is not to move your head, but to move your eyes in relationship to that finger. Are you you drawing a horizontal eight with your uh, finger? You could you could draw anything. You can go up and down. You could do an H. You could move it however you want, but just move the finger and follow with your eyes. Ah. Okay. سر و گردن رو خیلی آزاد بگیرید. دستتون بزنید رو به روی بینی. بعد شروع کنید این انگشت رو فاصله بدید. چش باید این انگشت رو دنبال کنه. حالا هر حرکتی که دوست دارید باید انگشت انجام بدید. من دارم یه دونه هشت انگلیسی افقی میکشم. انجام بدی و چش باید اون رو فالو کنید توی بالا پایین برید حواستون باشه که سر نوات کن بخوره من این تحمیل رو کلن بدون انگوش خیلی انجام میدادم به خاطر اینکه ساعته زیاد وقتی که مطالعه میکنید یا پای لپتاپ هستید چشم داره به یه نقطه نزدیک فکوس میکنه و ممکنه که آسیب زنده باشه برای همین این تحمیل باعث میشه مایچه چش قوی بشه خیلی تحمیلات خوبیه واسه چشم We're wondering if we can keep the head separate from the eyes. So if you're looking at music or a person, can we train the eyes to move separately from the head and neck without a lot of tension? So that's why. We'll do something similar. So make the pointer finger, 
And now your eyes are going to stay on your finger as your head moves side to side. And this is involving what's called your vestibular system or your balance system. And you're noticing if this is easy or so hard. Just, uh, uh, this, uh, today's life, you know, because we are living in a world that we are working on the computer for long hours and we are studying for long hours, uh, it's really good for the uh, uh, muscles of the eyes. Yes. They are perfect. Let me just translate this part as well. Sure. In that field, اینو بگیرید بیارید جلو بهش نگاه کنید سر رو تکون بدید یعنی در واقع چش توی نقطه باقی میمونه میره توی آخرین ناحیه که میتونید انگشت رو دنبال کنه این تمرین رو انجام بدید برای در واقع تمرکز میگه خیلی خوبه و برای بالانس اوکی ام دان ویت سیم تینگ بو وی گونا لوک اپ اند داون سو کیپ یور آیز اون یور فینگر بات نات اند اکستند خب این دفعه دستتون به ساعت همموقی افاقی نگه میدارید گتاش قاطی شد به ساعت افاقی نگه میدارید و خلاش میکنید با بالا بردن سر و پایین بردن سر چش رو اون نقطه نگه دارید هدف میشه مجددا هم تربیت ما چه چش بالانس و تمرکز Last thing we're gonna do there are many great eye exercises we're gonna do what's called a saccade two fingers And you're going to flick your eyes from one finger to the other as fast as you can. این دفعه دو تا انگشتتون اینجا نگه میدین چشم میخواد هی به این نگاه کنه هی به این یعنی فقط تا جایی که میتونید اکیلی میگه که تون دین تمرین رو انجام بدید. And then you can move the fingers they can be a diagonal like from the bottom of a page to the top of a page yes. حالا میگه یک شرط این که حرکت عمودی هم به چشم اضافه بشه and then up and down حالا بالا پایین بگیرینشون thank you thank you nice You're exercises great they were really And practical, uh, especially uh, I really like the exercises for the eyes because I, uh, I I'm always uh, uh, doing some exercise with my eyes because uh, I'm checking. Uh, actually, I'm writing uh, something on the computer for long hours, and then I read some books, and it's uh, really tiring for my eyes. So I try to do some exercise for them. But now you introduce some new ones and I can just practice them. They were nice and beautiful. Great. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, okay. Uh, is there anything else or it's done? I think that's good. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I, I, I just wanted to make sure that uh, I'm not missing anything. Uh, okay. Oh, plenty. Uh, plenty for one day. Sorry? Okay. That was plenty of exercises for one day. <laughs> oh, they were 20? I think maybe 10, 10, 15, something like that. It was a lot. <laughs> oh, yes. Yes, but because I was uh, doing that with you, uh, I was not aware of uh, no count, uh, the count, and I was just following and enjoying. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> Kelly, uh, for, for the last question, I want to ask you something. Uh, as I mentioned, we are trying to make a community, and... Uh, Bring all the methods that work on performance-related injuries as musician's health, like you, for example, as an expert, like Alexander Technique, body mapping, the physiotherapy, as uh, you know, last week we were talking with Cody, and he had yeah. brilliant ideas, believe me, and use muscle and stuff like that. Uh, what's your idea? How can we do that? And that is it possible, necessary? Because in my estimation, this is absolutely necessary. Uh, and in Muse Muscle Team, we always try to share knowledge with different methods around the world. Uh, what's your idea about that? I think that's a great idea. I mean, I definitely, I collaborate with a physical therapist and I work with other people. So I definitely don't just live in a bubble. And I think part of it is what you're already doing. So having these uh, Instagram lives uh, on, on conversations 
And maybe that's having blogs or guest posts, but I think you're doing it. And, and part of it is just to share what you are doing and what you are excited about and then what you want to learn more about and see how that can happen. Okay, okay. Thank you so much. Uh, I will open, uh, I will turn on the comments uh, to let the audience if they have any questions. Let me just uh, have my glasses on because uh, it's difficult for me to see there. Okay, man, uh, comment on was me, Kona. Katie, uh, could you please be with us for a couple of uh, seconds uh, to answer if there's any question? خب من کامنت ها رو باز میکنم لطفا اگه سوالی دارید بنویسید اینجا من او بچه کیلی اگر که سوالی دارید اینجا بنویسید من از کیلی بپرسم تمنیت جاده بیدار اوکی کیلی آر یو بیده هست؟ یا Ah, okay, okay. Uh, I just opened the comments uh, for the audience. If they, if they have any question, uh, they can ask you, of course. And, cheese, uh, 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 idea, Kelian Ruiz, Davoget, Postman has me to be Sakash for Lukun Fowler to show Volk Fowler to Hill Fowler. Okay, let's see if there's any question. Moya C. Sonny A. Boy, Miss Magar, sorry, now she came as Kelly Hoda Fazimkona. باید ببینیم کسی سوالی داره لایو خیلی خوبی بود تمنه با حالی بود با کیلی اوکی سلام فقط خستم شدم نایتون با سلام برسیم اوکی آه 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 پدر گرامی اینجا هستن سلام پدر جان مرسی که اضافه شدید به امون تأمینات موش و انگوشان دارید okay. Somebody has asked Do you have any uh, specific exercises For the wrist and fingers? Yes, I do It's a great question So hold on a second Let me get my stuff out So one thing I really like I'm sure they have it All over the world It's called Theraputty And what we do with it It's like Play-Doh, if you know what Play-Doh is, but you can also make it. It is this squishy, but it's pretty resistant. So it's not, uh, you have to use your strength. So what we uh -huh. do is we make different shapes to train different muscle groups. So you would work on abduction. You would work on pressing, especially if someone's hypermobile. Uh, you can work on all sorts of different shapes. So that's one thing I do with a lot of different clients is just working on hand and finger strength, also thumb strength. So if someone has a tendency to lock out like that, working on how to develop thumb strength, that's one thing. Um, another thing, let me see what else I got Just here. give me a moment to translate this bar. Sure, uh, that would be great. Yeah. یه وصله شبیه خمیروازی بود که در واقع گفتش که برای مقامت ایجاد میکنه برای قوی کردن ماهی چه دست استفاده میکننش برای هم حالا چون شکل میگره فی شکل مختلف میداد دور این انگوشت هم میداد برای در واقع این که باز شدن انگوشت انگوشت رو در واقع یه مقامت داشتن در, در مقابل باز شدنشون به صورت افقی تمرین داشت و اینکه to a halat mosh tamrin dash va shast okay okay another thing i use are small massage balls so these are very small compared to a normal massage ball and these are just for the hands so let me see if i can angle it so you can see what i would do but if someone has a lot of hand pain We will put the ball on a table and we'll, we'll work on rolling around the hand. And what you're doing is you would use, so this is the table, you're rolling the, the ball along the different tendons, muscles, all around that, top of the hand, and then as well as the forearm. So that's another thing that I personally use with clients. And then, oh, you probably want to translate that, so go for that. <laughs> It's like a massage, isn't it? Yeah. It's a, it's a hand specific massage. You can also do that with larger balls on the forearm. So the ball can go against the wall and you would roll your arm against it. 
Do you use any pressure on it or you just rolling it? Uh, I'll show you. So if I was going to do my forearm, you can put some pressure. So it's on the table and I'm rolling all around here. So I am putting a little bit of weight in, not a lot. I can do the same on the forearm side. Not, you know, not 30 pounds of pressure, but just a little bit. And then the same um, would be true for the hand stuff. It's just rolling around here. If you want more pressure, you would put the other hand on top. Aha, okay, thank you. یه سری توپ داره که توی سایزو اندازه مختلف پس بیشتر برای ماساژ دست استفاده میکنه. خب یه حالتش بود که همجور با دست توپ هم میذاشت روی ساید حالا یا روی ساید یا پشت ساید و یه ذره فشار میاره و حرکت میده. خب یه ماساژ یه ماساژ هم معمولا خوبه و خستگی رو در میکنه. بعد و اینکه روی میز هم میذاره خب وزن طبیعیه بعدا نشابیت بعدا میفته روی اون و بعد اتفاقی که میفته این یکی دست رو هم میذاره که یه خورده فشار بیشتر بشه خب من میرم بالا یه چند تا سوال بود مچانگوش رو که پرسیدم در این سوال که چی میشه که هر روز در حالت هم و مود ساز زدن هستیم ببخش من این سوال متوجه نمیشم چی میشه که هر روز در یک حالت و مود ساز بلنسی و همین مود پایدار نیست آن خب این دیگه بستگی به شرط ذهنی تون داره الان در واقع فکر نمی کنم آقای فراز دولت آبادی مودتون که شما به صورت ذهنی دیدید بعضی روزا بلند میشید خوشحالید بعضی روزا خسته اید بعضی روزا اصابانید خب همون منتقل میشه توی ساز زدنتون قاعدتا یه در مورد ستار پرسیدن چون کلی پوزیشن ستار رو نمیدونه اصلا سازش رو نمیدونه لطفا توی دایرکت به خود من پیام بدید من ببینم خودم میتونم کمکتون کنم یا حداقل عکسی از ساز زدنتون باشه برای کلی بفرستن اصلا اون پوزیشن رو ببینه چون ستار که نمیدونه چیه تنیس البو آی فراز دولت آبادی اوکی کلی somebody has asked I think you understood about the tennis elbow yeah. problem sure okay. So there's a couple different things that I like to do. One of them is called nerve flossing. So I'm scooching back so you can see what I'm doing. So this is the idea that the nerve needs a little bit of tensioning. A tennis elbow is going to be through the cubital uh, space around the elbow. So there's a couple things. One thing we're going to do is bring the hand flexed. Your head will rotate. And then the arm will reach away as your head rotates away. So it's kind of like a jellyfish. You'll bring the hand in and then away. And we're just trying to tension the two nerves, couple nerves in the hand. See how that works. That's one thing. You can also do this, but without holding onto the wrist, just moving through flexion and extension that will also tension the wrist. You can also do uh, this other, yeah, just flexion and extension. See how that feels. You can do radial and ulnar deviation. So that's this and this. Same thing, just working on the different positions. And then another one that I've been working on is another nerve glide. Basically, you rotate the elbow up, the fingers come down, and then you make a little face for yourself, but you're getting an ulnar stretch. So what's happening, I have my thumb and first finger, I come together, and I try to get my little mask on, Yeah, it's weird. It's weird. <laughs> yeah, it's weird. It is weird. Uh -huh. So when you flip oh, no, over, six, yes. when you flip the hand over, try to put the third, fourth, and fifth finger against your face, and then you'll get that tension through the wrist. Uh -huh. Yeah, that's it. Trying to stretch on our. Uh... Nerve. More about the nerve than the tendons, and it should be gentle, not a high uh, perceived stretch. Uh -huh. And uh, just uh, uh, to ask you about, of course, it's not a question of the audience, but I want to add. Uh, is the person allowed to uh, practice his instrument while he is just experiencing the pain of the cell ball? Mm. I, that's a good question. I, without knowing the person, I don't know. I would probably see a professional and just make sure it's okay. Um, I also like what's called kinesio tape or compression tape. So I would do that around the elbow for the, the current time, but I would probably see someone to just make sure it's all good. 
اوکی اوکی جاست گیو می ا مومنت سنسلی در واقع گفتن که یه سری تمرین دادم که من حالا تمرینات رو اکرار نمی‌کنم خودشون دقیق‌تر از من انجام میدن شاید من انجام بدم اشتباه بشه تمرین رو از خودشون نگاه کن یه سری تمرین دادم برای این سربو ولی معمولا وقت دست التهاب داره این تمرین رو انجام ندید بهتره اگه تنین سربو هستید درد دارید یه استراحت بدید معلو نظر خودم رو هم دارم اضافه میکنم و یه استراحت بدید از التهاب کاسته بشه و بعد از اون تمرینات تقویتی انجام بدید در واقع تو تنین سلمون هفته قبل کادی رو داشتیم که دکتر فیزیوتراپ هست توی صفحش راجع به تنین سلمون قبل یه فیلم برمو بذاره که گذاشت برید نها کنید اون فیلم رو گذاشته و منم پایینش کامنت گوشتم بکنم بگم صحبتی هم اونجا میتونید حالا به من پیام بدید یا لایب و هفته قبل اون رو ببینید صفحش رو میتونید پیدا کنید تمرینات کادی هم هست تمرین ادون هم که کلی هم یه عالم تمرین خوب داشت اوکی هلی لیت می سیف در ایزان های کوشن در مورد رسن به سازنان با وضع طبیعی بدن هم توضیح بدید خیلی ممنون شم اوکی گلچهره خانوم گلچهره بینا سوال کردم که در مورد وضع طبیعی بدن اوکی که اوی سامبانی هست از how can we achieve the body natural weight in instrument playing uh, can you clarify the question or I guess I'm a little confused as to what you mean or how do we use weight in playing or what uh, he asked, how can we use our body natural weight in instrument playing for example I'm a violinist I use the hands natural weight for uh, pressing the uh, actually uh, uh, depressing the strings with my uh, let's say bow Uh, she has asked, how can we achieve this body natural weight? Mm, okay, got it. Um, for string players, I like to have them uh, maybe rest their elbow on something when they're practicing, just as an experiment. So what is it like if you let all of your weight sink into a table? So I don't have my instrument right now, but let's pretend that I am practicing, right? And this is my bow arm. What is it like to really just let the weight of the bow arm sink into the table? Have that connection. There is no tension in the shoulder, no tension in the wrist. And then C, can you start to transfer that same sensation into the bow eventually away from the table? So that could be the same for piano, is like really feeling the weight of your arm into the piano, into the keys, whatever it is, the drums, whatever you're playing, start to make that relationship between gravity and weight and then figuring out how can you harness that in sound wow wow that was really beautiful that was really beautiful thank you thank you good idea let me just answer the audience یه تامین خیلی جالب دادن گفتن که وزن دستتون بندازید روی چیزی الان خوش روی اون صندلیشون انداخته بود نشون از این روی اون یه رس تمرکز کرد که مایچه ها درگیر نمشن چون وقتی مایچه ها درگیرن وز طبیعی نیست دیگه مایچه ها وقتی آزادن تمام وز طبیعیه دست رو انداخت اونجا بعد با این یکی دست تصور کرد که داره ساز میزنه تو اون حالت و چه کرد که اگر حس این وزن طبیعیه بدن تو دست باشه چجوری انتقال پیدا می کنید توی سازن تامین خیلی جالب گفت برای پیانو هم این کار میشه کرد ما دستمون رو زیم رون وضع طبیعی رو که حس کردیم اون وقت میگیم حالا همین وضع طبیعی رو حس کن که میخواد بنازی روی در واقع سازت نکته ای که از یه چیزی که از من همیشه به منجای خودم میگم بحث اسکن کردنه وقتی که حالت درست رو ایجاد میکنید شما باید اون شرط جسمانیتون اسکن کنید نگاه کنید ببینید چه جوریه بعد اون رو انتقال بدید رو سازتون روی در واقع اگر که روی ساز حالت جد مثلا فرمتون هم تغییر دادین فرم جدید رو باید اسکن کنید و همیشه اون رو نگه دارید ولی الان نکته ای که جالبی که کیلی گفت این بود که وزن رو بنازید روی چیزی ما این چهار زاد کنید بعد حس کنید دارید ساز میزنید خب این با وزن طبیعیه حالا همون رو در واقع انتقال بدید روی ساز اوکی که اوی I just translated uh, One last question because I, I know that you are getting tired uh, I only ask you one question sure. The mask on method. پارسا پیزد پرسیدن که ماسک the mask on method. من نمیدونم که راجع به چه متدی صحبت میکنی. There was a question about bodybuilding, I think, right? Yeah. What about? Yes. 
So yes. bodybuilding, and I don't know what it's like in, in Tehran, but in the U.S., bodybuilding um, has, it has a big nutritional component. So what we talk about is that if you want to do figure competitions or if you want to look a certain way, the nutrition component is really important and you would work with someone that specializes in that. So I am not that person. But what you're training for is something called hypertrophy, so large muscle development visually, and that's going to affect how you train. So it's going to be high volume, so a lot, and a lot of weight, so generally barbell work. For some people, that's really isolating specific groups. So for me, when I do kettlebells, there's a lot of muscles. I'm not just doing uh, bicep curls, right? But if you have an aesthetic goal, sometimes you would train muscles that maybe are not helpful for you as a musician. So if that's what you want to do, you can definitely try it. I know a couple musicians who have done it. But it's once again, you've got to progress slowly towards that because it's a lot of uh, load, what we call, uh, I don't know if you would call it in Farsi, but progressing gradually towards a goal knowing that your music is affecting your body and making sure you work with someone who has a lot of experience in this because it is an issue that you can overtrain or extremely diet. So you want to be very conscious. The other thing is that generally if you're training for that, you're going to go through a bulk phase where you eat a lot and really try to build up your muscle. And then once that has hit your target, you'll go through a cut phase where you drastically reduce your calorie intake to try to increase the appearance of your muscles. So there's, there's a totally different perspective around it than what I personally train. It is possible, but you definitely want to work with someone who specializes in that specific kind of training. But it's called hypertrophy. There's probably a good translation for that, as opposed to strength or function. You're really focusing on one specific goal. Good, good. Uh, in, uh, let me just uh, translate yeah, this part. <laughs> yes. In سوال رو هفته قبل هم از کادی فکر می‌کنم که از دوستان یا خود کادی توضیح داد یادم نمیاد. اما کلی میگه که اول نکته اینه که باید با کسی کار کنی که واقعا متخصص باشه تو این زمینه چون ریسکی ورزش خوب وزن زیادی رو شما دارید روی بدن تحمیل میکنید باید حتما توی پاسچر درست باشید حتما درست بزنید تحمیلاتو و با کسی کار کنید که قطعا کارش اینه یه خورده میگه از نظر فعالیتی خوب کانفلیک دارن این دوتا با هم چون وزن زیادی رو استفاده میکنه بعد بحث تغذیه شون خیلی متفاوت شما بادی بیلدنگ تغذیه خیلی متفاوت شاید نیاز داشته باشید با یه دون چون اونجا بحث بحث حجم بحث بحث بزرگ شدن مایچ هاست چون باید نوشید بادی بیلدینگ و با فیتنس, با فیتنس متفاوته با بادی کلاسیک متفاوته بادی بیلدینگ یعنی من مایچ های خیلی بزرگی دارم مثلا میشم شبیه رونه کلبن خب اون ماهیچه برای سازدن یه خورده متفاوته دیگه میگه این کاری که من انجام میدم این نیست باید یکی رو پیدا کنید که رونکا خیلی متخصص باشه چون هم از نظر تغذیه ای با نوازندگی و موسیقی خیلی متفاوته و هم از نظر کارکرد ماهیچه ای و نکته ای که میگه که خیلی مهمه اینه که دو تا هدف مختلف بادی بیلدینگ خودش بسیار زمان بر و کار در واقع نیاز به زمان خیلی زیادی داره نیاز به در واقع فوکس خیلی زیادی داره از اون موسیقی هم همین اتفاق داره دو تا شاخه میشید که شاید هر کدوم هم دیگه کند کنه و نظرم خوش بره چلو اوکی من دیگه اینو با عنوان آخرین سوال بود چون خیلی داره طولانی میشه دو ساعته کلی رو اینجا نگه داشتم ازش یه خدافزی میکنم آخرش من یه چند دقیقه هستم یه سوالی بود من جواب بیدم اوکی کلی Thank you so much for joining us tonight I had a great time It was wonderful Exercises and We had a lot to talk about We were in the common ground and I liked it Thank you Excellent Thank you so much And if people have questions You can reach out or send me a message Sure, sure. I will uh, give you the, uh, give them actually your Instagram uh, ID and they can text you and ask you if it, that they had any questions. Sounds good. Thank you so much. Thank you. Enjoy the rest of your day. You too. Okay. Bye. Bye.